So let's just consider the example we were just working with from um, the, la the first file I.O. example. Um, one of the things you may want to do as well is uh, you may have noticed if you run this program multiple times and you look at the output file during each time that it'll actually be overwritten. So one of the things you may want to do is you may want to, for example, append as opposed to writing to the file, overwriting the file. So if you want to append, how could you actually do this? Well, it turns out what you have to do is when you do this OF stream here, when you create the out file, it turns out when you create this by default, it uses overwrite. But if you want to append, um, the way you can actually do this is you have to add another parameter here and you can actually do this, IOS double colon app. And this will actually append the file as opposed to overwriting it. And we can see that this works if we go now and compile our second example, which is the append example. If we compile this and run it twice, I'll show you now. Uh, I'm going to call the example now append.txt. And the first thing I'm going to say, hello, my name is Jeremy. And it displays that hello name Jeremy as the odd lines, like we thought. Good. Now I'm going to run it again, use the same file. And what am I going to do? I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, before I press enter, what should we expect to be output when we ask it to output all of the odd numbers, odd lines? When it, sorry, it's going to save the odd lines out of these five. But what will be output when we open this as an input file and read it in? Well, it'll actually be hello name Jeremy because the file right now, it actually contains, at this point before we write anything, it contains hello my name is Jeremy. We've just opened it to append it and it's going to add, below that it's going to add one, two, three, four, five. Right? So if we run it and then what it'll do is it output to that the odd lines, but when it read it in, it read in hello name Jeremy 135. And that's because the file, we appended to it. So if we actually went and looked now at that file, and how do we look at a file contents? Cat. And we look at append.txt. And we see that's the contents, right? If we run the program again, and we run append.txt again, and we enter in five words. Let's look, do orange, red, blue, yellow, oh, oh well, green. It actually appends, it actually displays out all of those as the odd lines. And if we run the cat on this, we see that it actually can eat, hello, name Jeremy135, orange, blue, green. Okay. Because we only wrote out to the file the odd lines. And then we read in all lines. Right? So that's why it... it but you can see it's appended these on here. Because the last time we read the file it was hello Jer name Jeremy135. Here it's hello name Jeremy135 orange blue green. So that just shows you how you can do append. The next example we're going to see um, how to do uh, error checking. So what happens if your file, for example, opens and fails? Instead of opening, it fails. So we'll look at that next.